Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper here we're on question 13. So, a manufacturer produces a storage tank. The tank is modelled in the shape of a hollow circular cylinder closed at one end with a hemispherical shell at the other end uh, as shown in figure 9. So it's got a base and it's got a top. Uh, the walls of the tank are assumed to be negligible thickness. The cylinder has radius R and height H, and the hemisphere has radius R meters. The volume of the tank is 6 meters cubed. Show that, according to the model, the surface area of the tank in meters is given by this expression here. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to work out um, an expression for H in terms of R. So we know that the volume of this tank is 6 meters cubed, and we know that the sphere has a radius 4 pi 4 over 3 pi r cubed, the surface area of this. So, what we first need to work out is a formula for the volume of this tank. So the volume is going to be, uh, for the first part on the bottom, is going to be the area of the circle times the height. So that's going to be pi r squared h. That's the volume of the cylinder. Now for the volume of the um, sphere on the top. Remember, it's only a hemisphere, so it's only half the rate, half the volume. So it's going to be 2 thirds pi r cubed. And this volume equals 6. So now we need to rearrange this formula to get it in terms of h. The first thing I'll do is I'll times everything by 3 to get rid of that fraction. What's 2 pi r cubed equals 18. And then I'll move this um, 2 pi r cubed onto the other side. So it's 3 pi r squared h equals 18 minus 2 pi r cubed. And then I'm going to divide by 3 r squared um, pi. So it's going to be h equals 18 minus 2 pi r cubed over 3 pi r squared. And it looks tempting to simplify this fraction a little bit, but it is not possible to simplify that fraction. Now we need to have a look at the surface area of the tank. The surface area of the tank is going to be, well, there's a base on it, so that's pi r squared, plus the hemisphere, the total sphere will be pi r, 2 pi r squared, because it's 4 pi r squared for a whole surface area of a sphere. This is just a hemisphere, so that's just half of it. And then it's going to be plus. Now the, vol the surface area of the cylinder, once you've stretched it out and unraveled it, will be a rectangle where the height of it will be h, and the width of it is going to be the um, circumference of the circle. So that would be 2 pi r. So this is going to be 2 pi r h. So we now need to replace h with this expression here. So it's going to be, uh, if we combine these 3 pi r cubed together here, th sorry, 3 pi r squares, then plus 2 pi r times this expression here. So it's going to be 18 minus 2 pi r cubed over 3 pi r squared. Uh, now we need to somehow simplify this a little bit. If we cancel out an r from the top and bottom there and cancel out a pi from the top and bottom there, then we're going to get 3 pi r squared plus, we'll times the 2 inside the bracket just on the numerator, 36 minus 4 pi r cubed. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct, and then that will all be over 3, so that bit will be over 3, and this bit will be over 3, or all of it will be over 3, but it's the same thing, really. Uh, the next thing to do will be to simplify this, oh, sorry, we've got an R on the bottom as well, we've only cancelled out one of the R's from the top and the bottom here, so we've still got this R here, and we've still got this 3 here. So, we'll simplify the fractions, it'll be 3 pi R squared plus... 12 over r, 36 divided by 3 is 12, minus, and we cancel out one of the r's here and here, so that will now be a 2 on the power, 4 pi r squared over 3. And now that we've got a pi r squared here and a pi r squared here, we can simplify this, so it's going to be 3 minus 4 over 3, as so that would be 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3, which would be 5 over 3, so it'd be 5 over 3 pi 
r squared plus 12 over r, which is exactly what we're looking to show is equal to. So there we are. That's how we do part A. Tricky little question this one. You need to go through the volume first to get your expression for h because your final answer is not going to contain h. So then you work out your surface area with h in it and then replace h with what you found over this side here. Then simplify your algebra to get this expression here. Okay, there we are. That's the answer to part A. Let's now move on to part B. The manufacturer needs to minimize the surface area of the tank. Use calculus to find the radius of the tank for which the surface area will be a minimum. So if we want to find a minimum, we should differentiate. So D of the surface area over DR is going to equal, well, 12 r to the minus 1 we'll treat this as and then differentiate it that will be minus 12 r to the minus 2 plus um, 10 over 3 pi r and when we've got a minimum point the derivative is equal to 0 so let's now simplify this it would be minus 12 over r squared plus 10 over 3 pi r equals 0. Let's now move this expression here onto the right hand side. So it'll be 10 pi r over 3 equals 12 over r squared. It's a bit of cross multiplying now. 10 pi r cubed equals 36. Divide both sides by 10 pi. 36 over 10 pi. And then cube root both sides. So it's going to be the cube root of 36 over 10 pi and when you grab your calculator let's type that all into the calculator you're going to get um, 1.05 1.05 to three significant figures okay there we are so that's the um, value of the radius and part c is calculate the minimum surface area of the tank giving your answer to the nearest integer so using the answer button let's type this into the surface area so for part c it's going to be 12 over answer plus 5 over 3 pi answer squared so therefore the surface area is going to be um, 17 meters squared to the nearest integer so there we are that's the answer for this question here 10 marks for that one there quite a difficult question this one uh, especially getting the first bit but if you didn't get the first bit and if you didn't get to show that you can still have a go at questions b and c even if you haven't been able to do part a so six marks still available there for a bit of differentiation and substituting into the formula so there we are that's the answer for this question let's now move on to the final question of the paper question 14